Well, we are having the Guns and Hoses Blood Drive. It is tonight, actually, from 4 to 8 p.m. and tomorrow from 8 a.m. until 1 p.m. We're going to speak to Tim Murray from Front Valley Fire and Rescue about the blood drive. Well, Guns and Hoses is just a friendly competition between the Sheriff's Department and the Fire Department uh, to try and get people to come out and give some blood, and they can vote for either the Sheriff's Department or, or the Fire Department, and we just kind of get a laugh over it. But this year it's a little different. We're dedicating the blood drive to uh, uh, Officer Ian Deutsch, who was, uh, as you know, uh, murdered in the line of duty uh, earlier. And so uh, we're doing this in honor of him this time. Wonderful. And uh, how many years have we been doing this? Gosh, I think probably seven or eight years, as long as I can remember, we've been doing this. For the record, who's been winning? We'll call it a tie. <laughs> All right. So people can come and donate blood, and then they choose whether it would go to the Nye County Sheriff's Office or the Front Valley Fire and Rescue. Well, it doesn't actually go, the blood doesn't go to the uh, departments, but it's just kind of a voting system. We call it a popularity or a beauty contest. <laughs> there you go. But everybody wins because you're donating blood. Why is it so important to donate blood right now? Well, there's always a critical shortage uh, in the, uh, throughout the country, in Nevada especially, and so we need to have those stocks on hand so uh, when people are involved in traumatic injuries, we can, uh, we can give them the support they need, give them the blood they need. And uh, this blood goes to our local blood banks? or Yes, it does. It all stays local. And uh, do you know about the record of how much we've um, been able to um, collect in the years past? Traditionally, when we have a two-day blood drive, we collect between 100 and 150 units of blood. So uh, uh, they really like to come out here because the uh, Pahrump really gives. That's a wonderful thing. All right, so give the information one more time. It is at the Bob Rood Community Center. Yes, Bob Rood Community Center. It's Friday, and it's going to be from 4 until 8 p.m. on Friday. And then again on Saturday, we're going to start early at 8, and we'll be ending at 1 o'clock. And we hope to see you there. And um, for preparation for the blood drive, what should a person do um, physically? Uh, they should have a good meal, drink lots of fluids, mm -hmm. and uh, just come on in. All right. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Thank you. Bye -bye. See you there then.